Welcome to Work It Wednesday. My name is Lanicia Mayberry. This is a brand new venture for me. And um, I've had people approach me and say, how'd you do this? Or how'd you do that? And I feel like my graphics are pretty basic, but evidently there's a need to learn out there. So I will be here every Wednesday at 9 a.m. Central to teach you basic graphic images okay so um this is a pre-recorded video so i am in the comments with you if you're watching live if you're watching a replay go ahead and hit that hashtag replay in the comments so that i know that you are here ask any questions that you have if i'm able to answer it i will do so if i'm not able to answer it i'm up for the challenge i'll research it and, and see what i can find out for you so today we are going to make a graphic for Veterans Day, which is tomorrow. And before I go any further, salute to all veterans, everyone who has served. I salute you from one veteran to another. So part of being a business owner from any business is marketing, right? You want to be able to uh, advertise for your business, brand your business, and put yourself out there so that you stand out amongst the crowd. Part of that branding is your marketing skills. So today we're gonna to use Canva to make a graphic for Veterans Day. Whether you have your own special going for Veterans Day or you just wanna honor the vets, I'm going to show you on a PC how to do that for Canva. Now Canva is one of those apps that you can work from your phone, but for sake of um, size on the screen, we're going to do it on the PC today. So are we ready to get started? Let's get it. All right. So let's go right on into Canva and get started. So the main thing I love about Canva is they already have templates for you available. If you go to the top left-hand corner, you'll see templates I like to make my templates in Instagram post size. These are sizes that you see right here, okay? I like to make it an Instagram post size because the Facebook size doesn't matter as much. Um, when you post a post from Instagram to Facebook, Facebook adjusts, but Instagram doesn't do so well going the other way. So I start with Instagram post size and we're making a graphic for Veterans Day. So you type in Veterans Day right here at the top in the search box. And all of these templates show up for Veterans Day. Now you will occasionally have some mixed in like this World Pasta Day and Breast Cancer Awareness Day, but we are looking for Veterans Day, right? So um, I like this one because number one, it's free. <laughs> We're going to do all free items today. So don't worry about, um, oh, I don't have pro. Don't worry about it. We're going to do all the free stuff. Consequently, it's only $12.99 a month for Canva. So if that's a little bit too much for you right now, you may want to consider adding that investment to your business if you're going to um, continue to move forward making your graphics, okay? So anyway, this one, like I said, it's free. It's already an Instagram post size. What we're going to do from here is customize this template. So let's go. All right, so there's the template right there. We have the words right here, happy Veterans Day, honoring all who serve. If you're wanting to do something else right here, okay? First of all, you can see from the way it highlights that these are all individually placed items, right? So if you're wanting to move them, you don't wanna move them one at a time because then you'll have to realign everything and make sure that it fits the same way. And that is very time consuming. So over here in the top left-hand corner, remember this at any time, if you feel like, oh no, what did I do? You can always undo it, okay? and bring it back. So anyway, to move this entire grouping together, first, I'm going to crop this because it's in the way. Okay, so I'm going to click on the image of the flag. 
And we know it's the image of the flag because of what's inside these blue lines, okay? So I'm gonna crop this back a little bit because it's in my way of what I wanna do with this other image, okay? So you wanna find the white along the border, okay? You see the, the white corners? So I'm gonna take this corner and I'm gonna lift it up right about there, that's good. And I'll click done. All right, so to move this, this whole thing together, first we're going to group it. And to do that, I'm going to put my cursor in the, you can put it anywhere outside of the grouping, okay? I just like to start in the top left-hand corner, okay? And then you're just going to click and highlight that whole grouping. Let it go. And now I can move this all together, okay? Or I can delete it and it's gone, okay? Well, let's say we want to keep it. Let's, um. oh, it ungrouped. Let's see, let's move it back. All right, so we're gonna regroup it. We're gonna move it up to about here. All right, and let's change the color on it. Now, what I love about Canva is when you select a color, it automatically tells you the colors that are involved in the graphic already. So you don't have to worry about um, your colors being off. So let's change the words to red. Now it didn't change everything. It looks like it only changed the lines. Let's see, yeah, Ooh, but I like it. I like it. So that you can uh, highlight, now that it's ungrouped, you can highlight each part and change it. Let's say you want it happy to be blue and honoring all who, oh, what happened to my stars? Oh, down, I won't have it to the stars. Looks like they changed colors on me. Where'd they go? There they are. Now, what happened there? We can always back up and see. Okay, the star somehow did not make it into the grouping. And this came uncropped. Oh, let's crop this again. All right. And then we're gonna group. And we're gonna move it. Okay, the stars are hiding up underneath the flag part. Did you see that? That's what happened there. So we'll bring it down just a little bit right there. And you can leave it this way, right? You can put your logo on here. I am a huge fan of putting your logo on your design because if you take the time in the effort to tweak this graphic and put all your hard work into it, and then somebody comes along and just sees it and slaps their logo on there. I, I don't know, I, I feel a ways about that. So um, you, can, um, you can download your logos to Canva and use them on, on your graphics. So let's say that you're, I don't know, um, Let's say you're a part of Unique, okay? I'm gonna type in, I'm gonna go to Google, I'm gonna type in Unique Transparent Logo. And go to Images. Okay, let's say you don't have your own personal logo, but you have a logo for the company. First of all, for each of your individual companies, you want to make sure that you are using a compliant logo, okay? Uh, according to your policies and procedures, only you know that. I don't know that, okay? I know the ones for my company, but not for yours individually. But this, okay, so look, when you're looking for transparent images, okay, you want to look for one, not necessarily the one with the checkered background already, right? Because most of the time, those aren't actually transparent images. But this one is white 
when you look at it and then it has a checkered background. So most likely this one is an actual transparent image, okay? So you would just save it and then you come back over the Canva uh, and you're gonna go to upload media and there's that one there. Okay, here's one that I tried to upload earlier and it wasn't transparent, but you can see this one is an actual transparent image. So you can either drag it over, which I don't like to do is drag it because then you have to go through extra steps to resize it. But if you just click on it, okay, now you can resize it. Um, here and move it to however you want it on the screen. So that's with any company, not necessarily just unique. That's, that's how you get the transparent image on your graphic, okay? Let's say you were doing a special for Veterans Day and you wanted to advertise that. So we're gonna, oh, I didn't mean to delete the flag. Let's move you out of the way a little bit. All right, so I can group this and delete it and then move the flag back down. Sometimes stuff just gets in your way, right? All right, so let's say you're doing a special for uh, Veterans Day and you wanna market that on your Instagram, your Facebook, all your social media outlets. So you're going to come over to this left hand uh, menu right here, you're going to click text. Uh, don't let these fonts, first of all, let me put this on um, all the free ones. It's not allowing me to. Um, make sure, we're going to only use free text today, okay? I don't want anybody to fall in love with text that they may not necessarily have access to yet. So we'll start with the heading. Um, we'll say, uh, Veterans Day sale. Okay. And then can move this up. All right. Um, so you can put your special on here, whatever your special is. Let's say it's 20% off of um, your whole website. Okay, that's pretty generous. You're gonna find another font on here or you can use the same font again, okay? You can, you can get fancy with it or you can keep it simple. We will keep it simple today. I'm gonna add another heading and uh, we'll make this a little bit more fancy, but we're gonna start out with keeping it simple. So 20% off uh, site-wide. Okay. All right. So let's add some color here. We're going to make Veterans Day. We're going to make that uh, red and we're going to make 20% site wide blue. Did you all see how I did that? I came up here to the top. I clicked the, um, the font icon here and that automatically opened up the colors. Okay. Then I went to photo colors, photos for the photo colors for the flag and I picked these reds and blues instead of coming down here and picking this red which is way brighter than that flag right so you want to I personally like to keep my colors matching okay so you see this and you're like okay that looks a little bit good I would like it to look a little bit better I got you I got you so there's this effects button in the top uh, menu bar right here this effects button is your friend. One thing I love to do with my graphics to make them a little bit more attractive is do this little curve on here, okay? Did you see that? So um, maybe that curve is just a little bit too too rainbowish for you. So there's a, there's a dial here where you can uh, go back and forth to adjust um, to adjust the lettering. So we just want it to be a little curved like that. All right. And then um, there's guides on the screen to help you know if 
your words are centered. When you see that, that vertical line down the middle, that means it's centered. Uh, the box is keeping it in, in strides with the rest of your the rest of your font there. So Veterans Day is clearly not centered. Let's get Veterans Day sale centered. And now we'll center site Y. All right. So anything else that you want to say on here, you want your coupon code, things of that nature, well, let's add that on there. Um, let's see. Let's move this down. So we'll say it was already highlighted. Let me see. A, um, use oh i don't like that that's too thick let's use this use um vets day not vet day we don't want to be confused with the veterinarians right vets day at caps anymore. X. Okay. And we'll move that down. And we'll make that red too. And we can go back to effects and we can make that glow. What? Mm -hmm. All right. And then you can add any pictures that you want to on here going back to Look, the unique and unique's just on my mind today. I don't know why I'm not picking on unique. Okay. There's so many companies out there. Go ahead and drop your company in the comments and I can make one for you next week. But for right now, let, let's stick with the, the makeup theme, right? Um, oh, I like this. So, and it, she's free. So lady standing here with her hand out you can add her on there. We're gonna slide her over. We're gonna make her a little bit smaller. Yes, and we're gonna put the checkout code in her hand. We're gonna put the checkout code in her hand. Boom, just like that. I don't like that box though. Hmm. So let's fix that. You see this different colors right here? We got white and gray. So hmm, how are we gonna fix this? Let's see. Let's extend her out. Yes. And we're going to still put this in her hand. Y'all, this is me every day. <laughs> Moving stuff around on these. Uh, once, once I get a vision for a graphic, man, I make it work, OK? So there, right there. And then we can move Veterans Day sale. We can shrink that so it fits in between the flag. Yeah, y'all like it? What do you think? What do you think? Let's back it up and look. I don't like it. <laughs> Let's move her down a little bit. Yeah. Okay. And we're going to move the words down. And we're going to move sight wide down. And veteran. I don't, I don't know, y'all. And this is what's throwing me off right here. I don't like it. It may not mean anything to some of you all, but it is bothering me. So let's just... Uh, Let's just take that out and find another image. All right. Makeup. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, lots of makeup images. Lots and lots of makeup images, but we're only going to look at the free ones, right? Mm-hmm. So let's see what's in here for free. Still some cute ones for free. Uh, let's look at elements though, because I need something with a transparent background already. So makeup. And we're gonna look at the free ones. All right, so quite a few different things here. Excuse me, let's see. We can 
to this one. This cute. So there's already a lipstick on there. Um, let's do this cute palette. Okay. We'll just use this. You can see these, uh, you see these double arrows that kind of like go in a circle right here. That's what you, that's what you use to turn an image. So we're going to turn this a little bit, put it down here. Okay. And, and y'all, I don't even know if this is allowed on unique, right? Because each business has their own rules and regulations as to what they're allowed to do on their website individually as consultants. This is just an example, okay? So please don't bombard me with, you need can't do that. Look, this is just for example purposes, okay? You probably cannot do 20% off site-wide, but this is just to give an example of what can be done to make a graphic. This is solely for graphic purposes. So we have our makeup on here. Okay, we have what the special is, how to get that special. We're going to put that, slap that logo on here because we don't want, you know, somebody else coming along and just using our stuff with no effort whatsoever. We could put this right down the middle. What do y'all think? We're going to center it right here. Boom, and we're done. Okay, so that's just an example of something that that something that you can do to market for Veterans Day if you have a Veterans Day special tomorrow. If you don't and you just want to honor the vets and say happy Veterans Day, you can do that too, right? You can take it all the way back to the beginning. Take all of this off. Actually, let's just do this. This will be faster. Boom! <laughs> there it is right there. Okay, and then you can customize uh, the the fonts as far as coloring and things of that nature. And so that's just uh, a quick way to recognize the holiday, first of all, and then get the word out to market your business at the same time. All right? All right, y'all. So I did manage to get it to work. I told you when, when I see something I like, I make it work. So let me just back up a little bit with this. What I ended up doing was flipping this image because remember it was this way at first. So I flipped her over and just changed some of the wording around, right? Um, I put Veterans Day sale across the top use enjoy and rounded it the way I showed you in the effects. Okay, and then put 20% off in site wide underneath. Also, I wanted to mention that if you do not have your own logo, or if you don't want to use your, your company's logo, you can always go to text. I like to use add a little bit of body text, the smallest one, and put your website in right here and just attach it onto the graphic. So that would, what that would look like is www.yourwebsite.com. You can just stick that on here uh, with, oh, that's not a dot, with logos and websites. I like to put them in places where it, it's difficult to wipe them out or delete them. So you can have it slightly going over you can put it all the way over, but you want it to be seen, right? So I like to put it in places that it's, it's difficult to crop out or white out. So just having it overlap over the image a little bit right there will help um, keep your graphics from being stolen. It can still happen. There's people out there who are professionals at it and would rather steal your graphics than to make their own, but this makes it a little bit less... Um, less likely to happen, more difficult to steal. So that's it for today. I hope that this video helped you. Uh, in the coming weeks, we'll, we will be discussing how to make transparent images, how to make it rain on your video or snow on your video, or my personal favorite, that fire!
on your video. We'll also be talking about how to make intros, outros, and anything else you guys want to know. If you have questions, certain things you want to see, leave it in the comments for me. And I will, if I don't know already know how to do it, I'll research it for you and we can talk about that too. If this information has brought value to you, if this content has helped you and you're watching on YouTube, please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell so you'll be notified when other videos are released. If you're watching on Facebook, be sure to like this page and follow it so that you'll be notified for the next video. But that's it for this week's Work It Wednesday. Don't forget to watch And I'll see you next week, hustlers. Bye-bye. Tell me pretty lights. Look me in the face. Tell me that you love me. Even if it's fake.